These next 15 minutes will help your low back feel good. I've got some great stretches to help relieve stress and tension in the low back, hips, and hamstrings. It's all connected. And afterwards, you'll feel more freedom and joy in your body. So props for today's class, I recommend a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a belt or even a rolled up dish towel or t-shirt a block or anything shaped like a block that will support your weight, and a yoga bolster. And if you don't have a yoga bolster, you can use one or two firm cushions or pillows. Place this stuff off to the side, and we're gonna move through some stretches first, and then into a calming breathing practice, and then we'll end with a quick little meditation to help you really relax into the low back and melt away into a, a restful Shavasana. So let's start on our belly, uh, on the elbows and forearms. Extend the legs long back behind you. Place the elbows underneath the shoulders and spread the fingers wide. And then just draw that left knee up forward just a little bit and then turn the chest and head to face forward and see how that knee feels in your low back. And then you can adjust. You can bring it further forward or farther back. Find a place that feels good in your body. So just start to sway the upper body from side to side here pushing into one elbow and then the next. Relax into your whole spine. Let your head and neck and upper body really relax and be soft and wavy here. This helps to correct any little misalignments, work out accumulated tension along the lumbar region of the spine. And then coming to stillness, lift the head and heart and grip the mat and imagine a magnetic pull from the hands and elbows toward the hips. So gripping the mat, pulling the mat towards you at the same time, push your heart forward and draw the shoulders back and down from the ears and just breathe and relax. So the pulling and pushing is gentle here and this opposite action of pulling the mat towards you, pushing the heart forward, creates length and space in the spine opens up the lumbar region of the low back. Breathe and relax. And as you exhale, slowly come down, extend the left leg behind you. Make a little pillow with your hands, bend the knees, and just wash the knees back and forth here a couple times, breathe. All right, let's do the other side, come back to the elbows. And then draw the right knee forward just a little bit. Turn the chest and head to face forward. See how that knee feels in your body and then adjust forward or back. And now let's begin to sway back and forth. I love this little swaying motion here. Breathe into the low back, breathe into the hips. Really let the upper body relax. You can feel tension, stress just melting away in the middle and low back. And then coming to stillness, lift the head and heart, grip the mat, and let's do that pulling of the mat towards you, pushing of the heart forward. Hmm. Don't crane your neck here, just the neck is relaxed, nice and long. Close your eyes and breathe. Even though you're Gripping and pulling the mat towards you, it's relaxed. So nice and easy. And exhale, slowly come down. Extend the right leg back. Again, make a pillow with your hands, bend the knees, and just wash the knees from side to side. Breathe and relax. Let's come back to um, push up to your knees and bring your knees fairly close together. We're going to do a modified child's pose here. So knees hip distance apart, maybe even a little closer than hip distance apart. Find your block. Your block is going to be a pillow for your head. And sink your hips back to your heels with your knees close together like this. Reach your hands forward and really push into the mat to push 
the hips back to the heels and feel that nice little stretch in the hips and low back. And you can bring your forehead down to the block here. And just breathe as you push into the mat, sinking the hips back to the heels, feeling a nice stretch in the low back. Breathe and relax. Inhale, sit back to your heels. Let's come all the way down to the back and grab your strap. Now we're gonna work into a little hamstring stretch. And the hamstring is connected to the sit bone, and which is part of the hips, and the hips are connected to your low back. It's all connected, right? So um, it, with the right leg extended, bend the left knee, wrap the strap around the left foot and extend that left leg long and straight. So lower the leg so that you can straighten it fully and flex the left foot, push through the heel and with the left leg nice and straight, begin to pull on the strap, bringing the leg closer to the upper body just until you feel a little baby stretch and then just hang out there and breathe. Really push through the heel to straighten this leg fully. And then take a little internal rotation, so turning the knees and toes inward, feeling the sit bone kind of spread open. Continue to pull the leg towards you until you feel a good amount of stretch and just hang out there and breathe into it, relax into it. As you exhale, release the strap. And let's do the other side. So extend the left leg long. Loop the strap around the right foot. Extend that right leg nice and straight. Again, lower it enough so you can fully straighten the leg. Flex the right foot and begin to draw the right leg towards you nice and slow until you feel the first little bit of stretch. And then stop, breathe, relax. And now same thing on this side, take that little internal rotation, turning the knee and toe inward just a little bit, little wee little bit, and continue to pull the leg towards you breath by breath until you find your appropriate sensation. Relax, breathe. And release the strap, bend the knee. Place the strap off to the side and hug the right knee into the chest. Give that thigh a nice squeeze into the low belly and switch left knee into the chest. Let's go back and forth like this a couple times. And now find your bolster and place your bolster underneath the knees. And we're gonna work into um, our four, four, six breathing exercise with the knees slightly elevated, the low back feeling nice and spacious here. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Relax your face, cheeks, and just come into a natural breath in and out through your nose. And really relax each exhale. Feel yourself melting into a deeper place of stillness and rest. So we'll move into what's called 446 breathing. We'll inhale through the nose for four, hold at the top for four, and exhale through the nose for six. And this is a really great way to relax your body, calm the mind, and melt away any accumulated stress or tension that's still hanging around. So here we go. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. Really fill your body with breath. Open mouth, exhale and relax. And inhale through the nose for two, three, four, and hold two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, two, three, four, 
five, six. Inhale through the nose, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale through the nose, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and exhale through the nose, two, three, four, five, six. Last one, inhale through the nose, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale through the nose, two, three, four, five, six. Come back to a nice, easy breath in and out through your nose. And with every exhale, relax a little more. Let's say a few words of affirmation and loving kindness to set us on our path today. I'll say these words out loud and you say them silently to yourself. Today, I set myself on a path of love and compassion. Today, I will appreciate every opportunity to learn, to laugh, and to love. Today, I will feel more connected to my power and truth. And today, I will find strength and courage to make this world a happier place. You can place your hands in whatever position feels most comfortable to you. And I'll lead you through six points of relaxation. And when we relax these six points together, it has the effect of relaxing the whole body. So first, relax into the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. Relax. Relax from the inside corners of your eyes to the outside corners, all the way to the ears. Relax. And relax your tongue and jaw. And relax your hips all the way down to the tailbone. And now let's relax all of these six points together. Relax your hands and feet. Relax your eyes to your ears. And relax your tongue and jaw and your hips all the way down to the tailbone. will melt into Shavasana together.
Begin to bring a little movement into your fingers and toes, your wrists and ankles. Inhale, reach your hands overhead, great big stretch. And exhale, draw knees into your chest and roll to your right side. And push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Bring your palms together at your heart and close your eyes. Let's raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow and we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Thank you for sharing that practice with me. And if you didn't know, this class is part of a free 30-day morning yoga challenge. It's just 15 minutes a day, and it will make an incredible difference in your health and well-being. And if you're not already signed up for this challenge, I would love for you to join me. Just click the first link in the video description below and sign up. It's totally free. And if you are already enjoying this challenge with me and you're enjoying my classes, then I think you would really love the David O Yoga app. You'll get hundreds of classes and programs, including this 30-day challenge, ad-free, all designed to help you develop a safe, effective, and consistent yoga practice that you really enjoy and that you look forward to every day. Just click the second link in the video description below to download the David O Yoga app. It'll help you get so much more out of your yoga practice.